Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today, I'm going to teach you how to take a clothespin and turn it into a napkin holder. And no, I'm not talking about taking a clothespin and putting it on the napkins like that to hold the napkins. No, 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 no. I'm talking about turning it into a super cute Thanksgiving napkin holder. And you can make it one of two ways. You can either make it en natural or you can color it. And I'm going to teach you how to make it right now. For this project, you'll need 29 wooden clothespins, hot glue, uni posca pens or paint, flower shears, wire cutters, or needle nose pliers with a blade. I got these at Dollar Tree. It's 36 of these clothespins for a buck, which is great. And that's really all you need. And what you're going to do is take these guys and Pull them apart so they just if you slide them like that to the side they just pop right apart like that and you can save these and use those for you know other fun things but what you want to do is you want to pull apart all of these clothespins and you want 29 total and what you're going to be doing is taking some hot glue and gluing them together like this so i've got my hot glue gun here and as you will notice, I got myself a brand new hot glue gun. If you follow me, you know that my glue guns are usually a mess. Finally got myself a new one. Okay, and I'm just going to run a bead of hot glue down the back and just put those two together like that. Now you can do your turkey en natural, like this one here, or you can paint it like this. And what you can do is take your uni posca pen and I'm doing orange and yellow. We're going to have six oranges on the bottom and five yellows on the top. So as I make these, I can just paint them up with my uni posca pen. You can also just use regular paint if you want. I just love my uni poscas though. And you know you can see how you can just get in there in those clothespin parts where it goes in. Just push the pen on in and it just goes right in there. So I'm going to make six of these per side. So 12 total. So 12 orange and 10 yellow, just like that. And I'm also going to be making the turkey body and so I will make one that is brown, like that. So now we're going to put them together. First thing I'm going to do is put a little bead of glue right here and right at the top of that little chunk of chunk. See how it goes chunk of chunk there? See that chunk of chunk? You're going to go right here at the top and right down here. So a little bit here, right on the top of that chunk of chunk and then right down there. And then you're just going to put these two together. There we go. And you want to make sure that you're flush right here, that these two are flush. So you're going to get like a little letter V going on. And I'm going to do this for all six. Now once you're done, it looks kind of like a little fan or a little sunrise. Let that dry really, really good. Because now what we're going to do is come, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to come back with the yellow ones and we're going to glue those right in the middle of each of the orange. And we're going to push it down as far as it'll go. So what we don't want to do is have these pulling apart. So let's make sure that you're nice and solid and glued and dried. And then what you're going to do is just put a little bit of glue just at the bottom part on either side. And you only need to do it on the bottom part because the glue itself is going to push up as you insert it. I'm going to insert it in between those two orange. And I'm going to repeat this with all five. There you go. So you're going to repeat this so that you end up with two. Now I'm going to do one side natural and one side that is colored. So I've got my all natural side put together and then I have my colored side. So you need two sets, one for each side. Now we're going to make the middle part. 
For the middle part, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a different configuration with our clips. So we're still going to pull the clips apart. And this time, you're going to be holding these apart from each other, and we're going to be gluing this section together right here, this kind of sloped section on top of each other. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, place it right here on the top, and lay this one over top, and just line it up right where it goes into that little ka-chunk, chunk right there, right into that little bite. And I'm going to make four of these, and I'm going to glue these together. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue all down the side. Now make sure that you are going in the right direction. Make sure they're lined up so that the configuration is exactly the same. You want to make sure that this little notch lines up and this little notch lines up. There you go. Now you can use your Uni Posca and paint it green. Now you can leave it natural if you want to, but I decided to paint the entire thing green, like that. See that? Now it's time to put the whole thing together. So what we're going to be doing is basically taking this and gluing it right to the base right there, and this and gluing it to the base right there. So take a little bit of glue, Decide which side goes in and out. This one has a little bit of a squidgy, so I'm going to actually put that on the inside. So I'm putting glue all over the bottom. And then I'm just going to take my base. I'm going to line it up right at the bottom so that this is flush with the bottom and right in the middle See where that crossover is? I'm going to line this up right in the middle there. And I just want to let that dry really, really good. Now, while that's happening, I'm going to work on my beak. So I've got my, my brown clothespin. This is going to be my turkey. And I, I'm only going to be using one for right now, but you can make two, one for either side. But I'm going to show you how to make one right now. I'm going to take an extra clothespin that I've taken apart. I'm just going to take a yellow Uniposca and color the end all the way around. Like that. Then I'm going to let it dry really, really good. Now this is a dried one. It's really nice and dry. And now what I'm going to be using is my clippers. Now this is where I was saying you wanted to have a pair of clippers. You don't want to use scissors here because you'll hurt your scissors. You'll ruin them. But you want to come in about, oh, half an inch. And you just want to snip it with these snippers. So sometimes you need to get it on both sides. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of glue and put it right here on this edge. And I'm going to glue it right in that little cutaway. There we go. And I'm going to let this dry really good. Now I'm going to come back for my final side. And so what I'm going to do is once again, I'm going to take my beautiful colored side, flip it over to the non-colored side here, add some glue, and again, this is really important to line it up so that this is on the bottom, right in the center, and you can use the other one to kind of make sure that it's centered. Once you have it sort of tacky, you can stand it up. That's going to probably be the best way, unless you want to hold it. And now we've got our turkey to glue on. And we're just going to glue him right in the center. So we're just going to put another bead of glue right down his back. And it just needs to be the back part here. You don't have to do it on his head. And line that up right in the middle there. And then we're going to take a Sharpie pen here, or Uni Posca, if you had a uni, small Uni Posca. 
and give him a little breathing hole on his nose and two little eyes. There he is. And now all that you need to do is add your napkins. And there you have it, a clothespin turned into a napkin holder. And once you fill it all up, you will be ready to gobble up your Thanksgiving dinner. For more great ideas made out of household products and more, check us out at sober-world.com. Oh, 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 oh.